Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Shrine Warden, a free trick shot action roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out here today. It was made as part of the Godot Wild Jam, and you can play it with the link at the top of the description. It is pay what you want, which means it is free, but if you enjoy it, please do remember to chip in to potentially help develop the game further. But alas, let's pop on in because the game looks quite cool for a, like, you know, game whipped up very quickly. Uh, WASD, we got space to dash. Hold and release Y to shoot your disc. Oh, WASD to aim. Press it again to make a return. Gotcha. Well, hello there, mister. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That's going to take some getting used to because we move and then here, this is the moment I press the, uh, the fire button. I do lock in place. So then we have to re-aim. It's kind of... It's a WASD, and then other than that, it is two buttons. Dash, and then fire slash return. Uh, at shrines, you can perform rites to modify your weapon. Each temple will have at least one shrine. Add additional discs to your attack, but reduce the damage they do, or increase the size. Give me more disc. It also sounds like those are upgrades that can be taken more than one time. Good luck. All right, that's all we need. Oh, hello. Oh my god, we got a lot more to deal with already. Just the core concept feels right. Oh boy. But I'm curious to see what other kind of like upgrades we can get. But yeah, a reminder, it's a game jam game. It's a free game. So, you know, you gotta keep your expectations in check for that. It was made quite quickly, but it's the kind of thing where I like to check in on these games because... There's a chance, like, you have a really cool idea here that could be turned oh, into an amazing game. And this just looked like a good core concept to me. And I can tell you right from playing right away, it, it feels nice. Just like the core verb of the game. All right. We have 67 purple juice. Oh my, oh my. Tight, tight, tight. Back it up, back it up. So I do want to... Ooh. Get back. I almost missed everything. Hold on. That's the strat. <laughs> That's the strat. Just get in the corner and spam. Okay, we got a staircase. Descend to level two. All right, I was going to say, we want to get our statue. Enemies hurt by your disc will become frozen for a short time or increase the size of the disc. Let's have them get frozen. Okay, cool. No pun intended. Yeah, it seems like if we just lock ourselves down... Okay, I think we fully explored. But I wanted to gather the currency. And also, it's just fun to throw these boomerangs. Cost 60 to increase your damage, 60 to increase your health. Damage. One to... Oh, okay, okay. So it's just like on a fixed increase thing there. That upped it so we only need to hit them twice now, which is a really big improvement. Okay. Whoop. Cool. I do really like the freezy freezy we got. Upgrade. Size of discs. The discs you throw will bend towards nearby enemies until they hit one. I can actually see that being bad. Let's get bigger. Big are always better. There's our stairs. Oh, God, what? There's spikes. Oh, no. That'll change up how we have to uh, interact with things for sure. Also, I took three damage out of my ten. Okay, good deal. I am in pain. We have 99, so we could... Uh, let's increase our health. It goes up to 14. I don't know if we have a map or anything. Nah. I mean, do you need one? I might. I mean, I might. Next level. Oh boy, oh boy. I mean, we just got a whole bunch of eyeballs. No, sir. I will say I saw on the itch.io page that uh, one of the things the developer wanted to add, if they had time, was more enemy variety. So we'll see what's up with that. Oh, what do we got here? Heal. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait on that. There's a chance we don't need that. Oh, that's a different type of eyeball. That sound is so much louder than everything else in the game. 
All right. You, sir, get out of the way. Oh, my God. Okay. Three damage. All right. Discs you throw will bend towards. Adds an additional disc, but reduce the damage. I'm going for it. Triple disc with reduced damage. We're almost at the point where we could um, upgrade our damage again if we find that other shrine. I'm definitely going to heal before I leave. Just making sure we're... Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, that could have been bad. Okay, clear myself a little bit of a corner, please. Okay, and then we'll work from there. All right. Yeah, the the sound of the uh, the weapon throw is so quiet compared to the sound of, like, summons and stuff like that. Okay, I do need a map. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've cleared the whole thing. Yeah, I'd say games where you can backtrack and you have, like... And again, like, it's probably a... It's a, you know game jam game thing but a, a map would certainly be a lovely thing shall i increase damage let's increase some damage some more an additional disc okay more damage more disc oh, wait one of them flies out at kind of a weird angle huh is that on poipus it kind of worked out well there though i gotta say like, doing... Continually increasing our damage, but getting more discs. Oh. Like, having that extra spread is really nice. Whatever the ratio... Okay, there's our exit. Whatever the ratio is on decreasing the damage, it feels worth it. Alright. What do we got here? When you're below 20% health, you will heal one every time you kill an enemy. Discs you throw will bounce an additional time before coming to a stop. Oh my god, that's actually... That's actually huge. Anything else here? 180 for the next damage upgrade. I think we're done, so. Oh my. Okay, what does this eyeball do over here? I'm assuming it's just a slightly scarier eyeball. The freeze is kind of busted. What do you do? Just a slightly scarier eyeball. Oh my! That dash helped us a lot. Okay, the extra bounce, we could do some cool stuff with that. See, like, look at that. We could just throw it against the wall and not even adjust our movement. Oh my god, that's hot. Oh my god, that's hot. That's so good! That's really fun. Okay, back it up. Whoop. Oh, I love that. God, that's so cool. I will say the freeze is definitely the most broken thing that we have here of all of all of the things so far. The freeze is nuts. Increase the speed of your, your discs. Let's do that instead of heal. Woo! If we could just, like, not take damage, then we don't have to worry about healing. I think we're done, but if there was a... Uh-oh. Woo! If there was a, one of those upgrade shrines, I wouldn't mind that. Okay, that actually could have been bad. Feels like they're getting a little bit more health. We're at 260. Just make sure there's no... Please let me buy upgrade. No. Maybe the next floor? Next floor? Uh oh. Bad stuff. Back it up. Woo. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Back it up. Oh. <laughs> Almost beefed that one. But yeah, it's kind of the perfect angle for a lot of these rooms to just walk towards the wall, throw it, and get that one initial bounce. Feels really, really nice. We got 360 bucks. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll increase a little bit of health, too. Why, why not? Do you have a healing? Why not? I mean, maybe the why not is because I haven't been hit. Speed up. Discs you throw will bounce another time. I gotta go with another down. Another bounce. Another bounce. That's a big deal, man. It's just such a fun mechanic to work with that any little upgrade... 
Any upgrade that would be kind of like just another run-of-the-mill upgrade in another roguelike feels exciting, right? Like just a... Ooh. In a game where you just like have a gun, you know? These upgrades would just be like speed, whatever, you know, like cool. Bouncy shots, that's a little cool. Sure, that's kind of spicy. But in this, like one extra bounce changes a lot. And not to be like projecting too far ahead conceptually. Can we do anything if we heal it? No. But like, imagine what if this game was like turned into a more full thing. I think that like coming up with ideas for other potential character playstyles or like starter weapon, not not like a full on retooling of how the weapon works, but like you know like a slightly different style of boomerang. I'm sure you could play with a lot of cool ideas with that. Oi oi oi! So we're doing four damage on our boomerang, and it's honestly good enough. Ooh, that was almost wretched. Whoa ha! So that, well, that's what it likes, what, what it like to be hit. <laughs> Enemies hit by the disc will be knocked back. That actually could down, be a downside in some situations. It depends if they're knocked away from me or away from the disc. Ow, I'm almost dead. Just like that. Cut. I'm in pain, I'm in pain. Where's that healing when I need it? Where's that healing when I need it? Where's the healing when I need it? Alright. Uh, hit me with an increased health ASAP. It didn't even do that much for me. Oh god. Back it up. Yeah. Throwing out the wall, like, it really... Enemies hit by this when they knock back. Another bounce. Yeah, I kind of want to try the knockback. I, here's the thing. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to die, and we can try out, like, a slightly different path of upgrades. Good. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Ooh, boy. I will say, yeah, I definitely can't believe how, how busted the Frozen is, though. It is quite gnarly. I love it. 240 for increased damage. Is there just 240 in here? It's... Our damage is one step behind it. No, it's not. Uh, let's go for damage. Let's be stupid. Uh, oh, no. Go. Back it up. Yeah, I'd say it's it's no surprise that the wep or the weapon variety, the item enemy variety, is um, the area that needs help. There's no surprise, but I again that was whoop, uh, said by the dev too. If we get hit once, we are dead. Okay, back it up. Get in. Through. Good. 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 Give me healing shrine, please. Can't have nice things. Oh no! I thought I, I thought that was gonna work. Just that the initial throw bouncing off and hitting everything there is really the big helpful thing, because we kind of stun lock the room before we have to really deal with anything. Okay, so there's that. Give me a health shrine. Nope. Additional disc. I mean, why not, dude? There we go. Oh, it's not as much health as I thought. I thought it was a full heal. Still good. So at 2.30, if we find another shrine, we're almost at the ability to get an upgrade. I wonder if the health shrine heals a percentage or if it heals a flat amount. Good. Okay, we're still doing four, which feels right. Back it up. Okay. <laughs> no. Dash through. Good. Doing this without the frost seems like, you know, it's hard mode. 
the frost really is the thing that that is making this look too easy. Damage maxed. There's seven or seventeen, fifteen floors. Oh boy. So what's doing the three damage? Is that there's probably the spikes. Okay, good. Multiplication. Dude, bring it on. As many discs as possible. 160. We can't get another level. Was that level 11? <gasps> okay. There's starting to be like a very, very, very large sum of enemies. I do wonder if there's like a boss or something. Oh my god. Okay. It's the amount of enemies that is really the single problem. And the fact that they do just truly a, an exorbitant amount of damage. I'm dead here. No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm actually going to go with disc size. Even bigger disc. Okay, we could leave if we wanted. Can't deny that's probably the strat. Okay, did we go to the... Uh... Okay, but I can't do that strat in this room. Gotta see who's frozen, who's not. That's really where we have to make up our whole plans. Okay, hold on, come on. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Four health, man. Four health, man. I'm not thinking I'm making it to 15 on this one. Level 12. I mean, we buy the health, but what does it even matter? Unless I get this. Whoop. Okay, I think it might be a flat amount. Okay, good. We got to the corner. Cheese it. No! Oh, okay. Oh, the money stays. That's nice. Now that I think it'll really matter to... Well... Lol. What do we got now? Well, below 20%. Eh. It's such a... It, it, it's not like it's a bad... It's bad. <laughs> Like, if you're below 20% in this game, like, 20% health is... Isn't that, like, one-shottable? Therefore, it is healing up... Who is healing up to 20% from, like, 5%, even gonna save you from death? Ow. Oh, God. Not good, not good. Okay. Dude, yeah, there's just so many enemies now. Okay, back it up. No, no. Oh, baby. Ah, that was almost it. That was almost it. I can't believe how, <laughs> how much those bounced around him. Okay, we have an exit. I'm looking for the upgrade, though. Uh, let's go for an even bigger. So they're less likely to miss, you know? Alright. Alright, yeah, we, we're good here now. Or not. If we try and rely on that strategy a little bit too much, it will bite us in the butt, I think. Thing. We just want to throw the crazy bizarro freeze blast right away. And then we uh, do like a stutter step forward while throwing like that to freeze anybody in our forward momentum path. Okay, there's our exit. I'm pretty sure we're done, so. 14. I'll admit I made it closer to the end than I thought I would. Oh, no. Dude, it's just... It's every inch of the room is now enemies at the start. Okay, I wouldn't mind that uh, that percentage healing thing now. I think I was wrong. Seeing as I, I didn't die that hit, that proves that it could actually do something. And you know what? Maybe if you take it once, you can... No, I think the red ones are probably like... I'm, I, 
We'll see. The red ones are probably one-time takes, is what I was going to say. Okay, it's pretty good. Is 8% my max, though? Or 8 health? If, if I can live at 8 health one hit, then this is actually really good. Okay. <laughs> we got it there. Yeah, 8 health is my max. Okay, we're good. We're good in that spot. We did it. We've done it. I've created a stupid build. It seems like the build, though, to be real. Another, yep, another one. Since all we're looking to do is just to freeze as many as possible, <laughs> we actually don't need money anymore, either. So the second we see the exit, we should probably, like, leave. I mean, like, I don't want to leave the money on the ground, but, like, it's, like, you know. Probably should. Who cares? Ah! E to ascend! You ascended! We've done it. You reach the deepest depth of the temple, perform the final rite. Your runtime is 2112. You perform 17 rites to strengthen your weapon and kill 694 enemies. I gotta say... I really think it has a lot of promise. This was developed in... Let's see. How how long did this game jam go on? Uh, let me pause and find out. All right. It looks like this was, this was made from start to finish in less than a week. Imagine how cool this game would be with an extended period of development. It is so cool already. And it's just a proof of concept, really. And I will say concept proven. It's just like, it's a simple way to shake up a formula that needs shaking up. Just, it's a, the boomerang as at the core feels really good, right? It just feels really good. It's something that I think a lot of people try and go for. I'm going in, the music is getting a bit too loud. Uh, a lot of people, you know, like when they have a build in a different roguelike that utilizes it. But if you utilize that from the core, and all of your upgrades are kind of centered around that as the main idea. Uh, like a game, a game that did something similar was uh, Deflector. I think that taking that idea and putting it into kind of like a more dungeon crawly uh, centric element and having this kind of just the core boomerang be the focus, I think would be great. I think I like it a lot. They did so much with so such a little space. Obviously, enemy variety, things like that, bosses. Like, imagine how cool bosses could feel in this. I think something like, you know, in the full thing being designed so that you can uh, move and throw backwards would be really, you know, I know it's a simple thing. The game feels like it's balanced around the fact that you can't do that right now, which, you know, understandable. But if this was developed into a bigger, fuller thing that costs money, I think that would be, a, you know, a good quality of life focus is design around, around that being allowed. Um, and dang, I don't know. It's just good. It's just good. It's free. Go check it out. Go play a few runs on your lunch break or something. Like, it doesn't cost anything. It costs your time, and I'm here to tell you it's worth your time. Link in the top description. My name is Retromation. Cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Remember, if you enjoyed this game and you go play it over there, make sure to chip in you know, I could go chip in a buck or two if you really enjoyed it and you want to see this turn into something bigger. I'm going to go over there and uh, and chip in myself right after this video. So I hope you would, you know, do the same if you liked it. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.